look at some of the best properties located close to Florida's biggest cruise ports. You will hear from uh, Christine Peters with Marriott Orlando World Center. Um, then going down south, we will hear from Beatrice Lopez at the Fort Lauderdale Marriott Harbor Beach Resort and Spa and Liza Vecino Castro at W Fort Lauderdale and end with Diana Gomez with Miami Marriott Biscayne Bay. Um, and as I mentioned, uh, moving on to the next slide, my name is Monica Murphy and I have the pleasure of representing JW Marriott Tampa Water Street and Tampa Marriott Water Street. We are two unique hotels in one incredible destination in the heart of downtown Tampa. So looking at the next slide, I first wanted to share how easy and quick it is to get to Tampa. Tampa International Airport, which was ranked as one of the best large airports in USA today, offers 92 direct flights into our vibrant city. Um, and if you're already visiting the Mouse House in Orlando, you are just a short one hour drive to the west coast of Florida. And you may ask yourself, you know, why visit Tampa or venture to the west coast of Florida? Uh, most people know Tampa for our winning sports teams, the Super Bowl 55 winners, uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and of course our back-to-back -back Stanley Cup champions, the Tampa Bay Lightning, um, who actually play next door at Emily Arena. But what I'm here to share today is really everything that your travelers can experience um, in this thriving destination. Um, so I first wanted to take a few minutes to talk about Water Street, Tampa, since it's really a big part of our identity at the collection um, and essentially our namesake. So Water Street Tampa was a vision and collaboration between our owners um, and a large investment entity to essentially create a neighborhood based on wellness, sustainability, and to really revitalize a live, work, play downtown destination in Tampa. Um, in the photos, you can see the Tico streetcar in the upper right-hand corner, um, which runs actually from our hotel collection um, through the Water Street District. To the left, you'll spot our hibiscus margarita from our Mexican-inspired restaurant, Lona. Um, and on the bottom, and top, you'll see oysters from Sparkman Wharf, Chobro's ice cream, as well as neighboring residential buildings. So the Water Street District has really revitalized and elevated the downtown Tampa neighborhood, and we're really just getting started. Um, after the completion of phase one of this development, there is still so much more to come with this master plan and even more for your travelers to enjoy. Located at the entrance of the Water Street neighborhood, um, our properties are walking distance to over 25 unique restaurant concepts in this district, including five with Michelin stars as of the past two years. So you want Italian, French, Mediterranean, casual, trendy, speakeasies, rooftops, you know, whatever mood you're in, you name it. Um, Water Street has that to offer your travelers. Um, there's really something for everyone. Um, and both of our properties are located along the 2.5 mile Tampa River Walk where we have Armature Works at the North End, which is an indoor food hall with monthly farmer markets, drive-in movie nights, holiday boat tours, and festivals of all genres. Um, and at the South End sit Florida Aquarium and Sparkman Wharf, which is an outdoor food hall filled with family-friendly activities. Um, and if you're one for adventure, our downtown Tampa um, complimentary streetcar trolley stops outside of the JW Marriott every 15 minutes. So this trolley journeys to Spark uh, Sparkman Wharf, um, Port Tampa, which is perfect for all your cruise goers, and ends in our historic Ybor City, which is home to the oldest operating cigar factory in the U.S., um, as well as the oldest restaurant in the U.S., um, I'm sorry, in, the, in Florida, Columbia Restaurant. Um, so the Mary Water Street Collection has over 1,200 guest rooms um, with two amazing products available for your travelers. Uh, the Tampa Mary Water Street offers refreshing coastal tones, hardwood floors, and balconies with views of Tampa's waterfront. Um, and connected by the third floor sky bridge is easy access to JW Marriott Tampa Water Street, where you can really experience modern day luxury, elevated touches, and floor to ceiling windows with the city and water views. And at the collection, we are very family focused um, with museums and aquariums close by. We want your families to feel at home while on vacation. Um, so we created a package um, unique to the JW, um, our Family by JW package. Um, so this package actually guarantees connecting guest rooms um, for the family and the kids, a children's mini tent, um, mini robes, little slippers, um, as you can see pictures, and of course, cookies and milk amenity for that late night treat. Um, it also includes a $50 dining credit, breakfast for two kids, and a 2 p.m. late checkout. Really everything that families need, right? 
Um, so this package became very popular at the JW. We decided to mirror it at the Tampa Marriott Water Street um, and has the same exact offerings with more of an under the sea theme. Um, it, but at the Marriott, it does include a complimentary day bed for the family to enjoy at the pool. And then while in Tampa, you can wine and dine right here on property um, with several options to choose from. At the JW, our signature restaurant, Jeff Flight, offers steak and seafood um, for dinner and a European-inspired breakfast menu um, served daily. Um, and we also offer more relaxed dining experience at Six, which is located on the sixth floor and offers indoor and outdoor terrace seating serving uh, Caribbean-inspired Florida cuisine. Anchor and Brian um, in the upper right-hand corner is our signature restaurant at Tampa Marriott. So this is located just footsteps from um, that lively Tampa River Walk. And it's really a true Florida dining experience, completely outdoors um, with cabana seating, views of that perfect Florida sunset and um, serving the best um, seafood, um, especially the grilled octopus um, in Tampa. Um, Lona, as I mentioned earlier, is a modern day Mexican restaurant brought to life by creative collaboration of renowned chefs, Richard Sandavo and Pablo Salas. Um, and last, but of course not least, is Beacon, um, which truly deserves a slide of its own. Um, Beacon is our rooftop lounge and bar located on the 27th floor of the JW Marriott. So it is the tallest public rooftop on the Gulf Coast of Florida and the second tallest in all of Florida. So we opened our doors last fall to Beacon and it has earned really the best reputation um, in Tampa Bay for our amazing sunsets um, with stunning terrace views um, right on the west side. Um, Beacon also serves an array of artistically uh, created craft cocktails um, and tapas that are truly mouthwatering. And then when you're looking for that Florida sunshine, of course, Florida has it. Um, we have sunbathing at a, in a cabana at um, one of our three rooftop pools that you can enjoy. Um, you can catch a morning yoga class on the sixth floor event lawn or participate in one of our seasonal activities offered throughout the weekends for kids and adults to enjoy. Um, this month, we are offering uh, uh, popsicle socials on the weekends and we have a special back to school bash um, at the JW and Tampa Marriott um, pools for your, your little ones to enjoy on Saturday and Sundays. And then if you are looking for more of a curated experience, um, we offer several on-property activations. So you can enjoy a um, specially crafted picnic basket um, along the river walk. Um, you can sign up for a guacamole making class at Lona um, or put your bartender skills to the test and create your own cocktail at Beacon. And after all that fun, you know, don't forget to relax and recharge while visiting. Uh, the spa by JW, located on our sixth floor, is available um, actually for both guests of the JW and Tampa Marriott looking to experience mindfulness and wellness during their travel. Um, the spa offers 10 treatment suites, an outdoor mineral pool, and a co-ed relaxation lounge, um, as well as amazing retail. The Marriott Water Street Collection um, you know, there's really so much to offer under one roof, but I would say the biggest advantage to your travelers is that guests staying at either the JW or Tampa Merritt have the benefit of enjoying all the amenities between the two properties with one master billing platform. Um, and additionally, all guests receive a $30, $30 food and beverage credit um, and that is actually daily um, to use at the collection at our full service restaurants, um, along with the daily be uh, beverage tasting, daily fitness classes, and waterfront activities along the Garrison Channel. So we really offer, you know, a true resort experience um, in an urban destination. And after enjoying a trip of winding and dining, waterfront activities, and experiencing Tampa's rich history, um, allow your travelers to extend the adventure and embark on our cruise out of Port Tampa, which is a free trolley right away. Um, other popular destinations close by are the amazing Florida beaches and everyone's favorite theme parks. So I want to thank you guys so much for, um, again, carving out some time today, this evening, um, to learn about the JW Marriott Tampa Water Street and Tampa Marriott Water Street, and really, you know, everything our city has to offer. I've included my contact info here, and if there's anything I can assist you with, please let me know. Um, and now I'd love to introduce you to my neighbor in Central Florida, Miss um, Christine Peters with the Orlando World Center Marriott.
Thank you, Monica. And thank you everybody for joining us tonight. We appreciate it. And we're excited to present all the wonderful hotels that are uh, located close to the cruise ports in Florida. So the Orlando World Center Marriott is a 2010 room resort on 200 acres. Um, we are moments from the magic and I really think we're one of the best offsite options for your customers. We're located about a mile and a half from Disney. So if you just take a right out of the hotel, you're headed right into Disney. We're so close, you can see all the fireworks from the Disney theme parks. We're within 10 minutes from um, the other attractions, Universal, SeaWorld, Discovery Cove, lots of shopping close by. The airport is about 17 miles. And of course, important for you is the Port of Canaveral, which is 60 miles, as well as our guests can take the cruise uh, ships out of the other ports, but also Tampa is only about 60 to 70 minutes away. This is the first impression that your customers will get when they walk into the Orlando World Center Mar Marriott. As I mentioned, we're 2010 rooms, so we are the largest Marriott in the world. It's a very high energy, high profile hotel uh, with lots of facilities and special amen amenities. So this is the grand entrance. You'll see we have a very large front desk to accommodate a very busy check-in, a big lobby lounge that actually has a beautiful outdoor porch, a veranda that uh, overlooks the pool. Uh, we do have a sushi bar in the lobby, a huge Starbucks, and all of our restaurants really are connected to the main lobby. And the kids love to ride the 28-story glass elevator. These are our newly redesigned guest rooms. So um, we have two queens in the room or one king, um, and they all were renovated two years ago. So you can see kind of the 3D image, how spacious they are. Um, and my favorite part of the, the rooms, and I think everybody's favorite part, is the oversized balcony. That's where you can sit outside, enjoy that warm Florida weather and the sunshine and see those fireworks at Disney. We also have 121 suites. So um, I know you book a lot of those multi-gen uh, families or extended families. So they do like the uh, suite options. So 121 suites with 10 different floor plans. Everything ranging from an executive king up to the um, the governor's suite. So all of these rooms also have a connecting room option. Give the guests extra space or um, a little extra amenities, and um, they can uh, also uh, book. You can also book them the connecting rooms. We have a lot of dining choices since we're our big resort. Our guests really um, appreciate the fact that we have uh, lots of choices for them, as well as different types of cuisine. So our full service restaurants um, are located all, as I mentioned, close to the lobby. Mikado's on the top left is our Japanese teppanyaki style, great food and a great show, uh, dinner only. And there's 18 to a table. So our families love meeting other uh, families that are uh, enjoying dinner as well. On the top right is latitude and longitude. That's where we have the huge breakfast buffet. So if you're booking any of the packages that include breakfast, that's where your customers will have um, breakfast, like the stay for breakfast or um, any type of rates that and have breakfast that they would have it at Latitude and Longitude too. It's like a big um, breakfast buffet like they have in Vegas. And it's also a casual restaurant open for uh, lunch and dinner. Bottom left is Zero and that's our Italian restaurant. And bottom right is High Velocity, one of my favorites because it's so big, there's so many TVs and we even have little TVs in the booth so the kids can watch their own cartoons. But that's affordable dining for families and it's located in the lobby. Other quick options, as I mentioned, the lobby lounge, the sushi bar, we have central pantry, which is our grab and go. So early morning breakfast or late night snack after they get back from the attractions. Starbucks in the lobby. Falls pool is our outdoor pool bar and grill. As you can see, it's poolside. And I really like the atmosphere at night. There's so many, um, lots of seating and it has um, pretty lights at night and the fire pits are all going. And bottom right is the cargo container and that serves tropical drinks. This is Falls Pool Experience. So um, this is really the heartbeat of the hotel. This is why our customers love the property and they come back uh, time and time again. It's a 400,000 gallon zero entry pool and it has a sun shelf that wraps around the perimeter of the pool so you can soak in eight inches of water. Um, there are a variety of different cabanas in different locations in this area, some private and some you can just step right outside, step right into that pool as you can see. Uh, there's four water slides in this area, one for the smaller kids on the upper level, and then uh, three huge, uh, either curvy or uh, drop slide, a uh, total of four in this area. And we were voted the best family resort in Florida for pools uh, this year. 
So in addition to Falls Pool, we also built a River Falls Water Park. We spent $10 million, and this has uh, now been open for two years, but this area is right around the corner from the uh, pool, the main pool, and it has three additional water slides. So we have a total of seven water slides, and these are the fun slides. They are inner tube slides or single or double riders, and they're just lots of fun. They get great reviews, um, and they dump you into a big pool of water, and then you can float on the 575-foot Lazy River. As you can see, the uh, nice aerial shot there on the bottom left of the River Falls Water Park. It also has cabanas in this area, so those um, can give you some privacy or some uh, shade out of the sun. And we were voted the best water park hotel in Orlando by Forbes late last year. So a, another nice mention for Forbes. We do have a lot of activities um, your customers can um, participate in. Uh, kids of all ages, uh, starting early in the morning to late at night. Um, Gatorland comes on the weekends. We have lots of extra activities during the holidays. We even do our own fireworks for Memorial Day, 4th of July, and we will have fireworks New Year's Eve, along with a special um, holiday drone show for a couple nights at Christmas. Um, and every night, our guests can enjoy the nightly laser show. We actually do that over the pool with lights and music, and it's a lot of fun. So we do a lot of things, um, special uh, events like the mermaids uh, and glow parties. We do DJs, we do um, carnivals, we have the Olympic Games last uh, two weeks. So just dialing up the fun every day, all day for kids of all ages. In addition to all that, um, we also have 18 holes of golf. So Hawks Landing Golf Course is a first class um, golf facility and it's footsteps in the lobby. You don't have to drive or um, take a cart, you're just walking right on the first tee. So it's 18 holes. It has a golf pro shop. Um, we do have golf pros as well as a driving range and um, it's called Hawks Landing Golf Course. And we have mini golf for um, the families that are uh, golfing at Hawks Landing, uh, a boutique spa. And also we do provide shuttle service to the four Disney theme parks and Disney Springs. So the guests can make reservations. They can make reservations for golf, spa, curated events, uh, special shows, and also the shuttle to Disney. Some things that are uniquely ours, um, as I mentioned, we have seasonal experiences like the drone show and the um, mermaid and glow parties. We have 15 new cabanas. On the bottom left is the stock room. It's our speakeasy. And we do private events in there or um, events like the um, spookeasy over Halloween. And sometimes we do um, curated events where your uh, makers mark, make, um, teach you how to make cocktails. And then on the bottom right is just a, another uh, example of our curated events, which um, sometimes we do make your own guacamole or sushi rolling in the lobby. So plenty to do at the Orlando World Center Marriott. So I appreciate your partnership. Um, I attended the uh, Archer Travel Trade Show a couple uh, weeks ago. We were so busy and I enjoyed every minute of it. So hopefully I met some of you there. But thank you for your time tonight. And I'm going to pass it on to Beatrice, my friend in Fort Lauderdale. Beatrice, can you find the mute button? It's kind of on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Might have to move your mouse. Oh, there you go. Sorry, guys. I thought I was on, on mute. Um, so hello, everyone. My name is Beatrice Lopez, and I represent the beautiful Fort Lauderdale Harbor Beach Resort and Spa. As you can see in the image, uh, we are a very unique uh, beach destination. Uh, our property is located right on the beach. We are a full service resort. As you can see on the image, our um, resort is building is right on the left. And then this is our lagoon pool, uh, beach facility. Um, as you can see, we have private cabanas all around the beach, uh, the pool area. It's truly a, a vacation destination. Location is everything for us. So we are in a prime location. We are about 4.4 um, miles from the Fort Lauderdale Airport. So just about 10 minutes away, just a quick Uber, uh, hop on an Uber and you're right there on the property. Uh, we are also about four minutes away uh, to the Port of Everglades. So perfect for those um, guests that are uh, taking a cruise. So for pre and post, it will be a great uh, location. 
Uh, and then nearby, we do have the Port of Everglades, as I mentioned, West Palm Beach, which is a, just about 45 minutes away. So we are in the middle between West Palm Beach and Miami. Miami is about 45 minutes away. And then in addition to uh, everything that we offer in the property, just walking distance, uh, we have the water taxi. So just a hop on the water taxi for a minimal fee. You could enjoy uh, the intercoastal and the Venice of the America. So you could see all the beautiful homes and then you could venture all the way to Las Solas Boulevard where there is uh, plenty of dining options, shopping, cafes and nightlife. And then our bright line uh, for Lauderdale train station is just about 4.5 miles away. So if uh, you have any guests that are staying for a long period of time and they want to venture all the way to West Palm Beach, they could just hop on the bright line and they could just go all the way to West Palm Beach or Miami or do some shopping in Aventura Mall as well. And then the Everglades National Park is also another attraction nearby and then the Museum of Discovery Science. So perfect for families. As we go into the guest rooms, uh, our resort offers 650 rooms. So we have 619 guest rooms. We have double doubles and kings. We have beautiful ocean view rooms with balconies and then also double double ocean views. And then also um, beautiful uh, intercoastal views as well. Perfect for families, uh, the suites. We have 31 suites, so seven different type of suites. Our suites do have connecting rooms. So if you have a family of six or eight, uh, you could book a king with a connecting suite. So that will be a perfect elevated experience. As we go into uh, other amenities that we offer at the property, we do have our resort amenity fee, which is $44 per night plus tax. And you do get included in the resort amenity fee, tons of um, amenities. For example, you get a two beach chairs, two welcome beverages uh, per stay, the use of the non-motorized sports activities on the beach. So you, your guests will get an hour use of that, an hour use of the tennis courts, the rental beach games daily, and then also an hour use of the bike rentals. So uh, if you want to explore what's nearby our resort and go all the way to Las Olas or all the way to Fort Lauderdale, a little bit more north, you could just take a, a, one of our bikes and use that daily and it's for two people and our enhanced Wi-Fi. So it's important to highlight that as well. And then in addition to our beach, we do have our beautiful lagoon pool. That's our main resort pool for our guests. And then all surrounded around the pool is our private cabanas. So if you're booking uh, one of your guests' families or a group of people um, and want an elevated experience, you could book the private cabanas right on Marriott.com and our website seven days prior to arrival. You could reserve that ahead of time. Or if they get to the resort, they could do that directly with the, the pool service. As we go into the next slide, um, as I mentioned earlier, we are a family uh, resort destination. So we are kids friendly. We offer a kids surf club where they have uh, tons of activities for the kids, arts and craft, video games, and much more. They open daily. We have a full day and a half day, as you can see the prices here. So we have morning and afternoon and ages are five to 12. And then addition to all family, we do have the spa facility. So great for relaxing for couples, girls trip. Um, we have 18 treatment rooms. It's a full service spa. They have sauna, steam rooms, and our beautiful adult pool area. So if your guests are going to book a service at the spa, they could enjoy the adult pool area. We have a fitness facility with daily classes, yoga, spinning. Uh, so a lot to offer at the spa. And our fitness facility is also open to our all of our guests. So they don't need to book a service at the spa. They could just go to the gym if they need that 24 hours. And in addition to all the amenities that we offer, the spa, the pool, and the beach, we do have our dining experience. We have six dining um, restaurants and bars. We have our beautiful 3030 Ocean Bar, which is our fine dining for steak and seafood. It's located in the lobby. 
and that's only open for dinner. Then we have our sea level restaurant in Ocean Bar. It's a beautiful restaurant located outside by the pool with beautiful ocean views. We have daily um, live music. Uh, we have an outdoor and indoor at the sea level restaurant and that's open for lunch and dinner. And then our Riva restaurant, it's open for breakfast daily and it's located in the resort uh, main building and they also offer outdoor dining as well. And then our HB Fresh, more of a grab and go, easy, perfect for kids and families, sandwiches and salads, smoothies and ice creams as well. And then our Starbucks, of course, that is open uh, daily. It's located in the lobby of the resort. And then for more of a casual experience, outdoor beach bar is our Loggerhead Sandbar. Uh, our guests can enjoy craft cocktails and light bites. Uh, so it's a great uh, little tiki area located on the beach. And then we do offer parking daily. So those guests that are driving in, we do have self-parking, valet parking daily. And then, of course, for those groups uh, for pre and post, we do have a portage fee. And that's $10 round trip. And that concludes my presentation for the Fort Lauderdale Harbor Beach. And below is my information. So if you have any questions, just feel free to uh, contact me directly. Thank you very much. And then I'll pass it along to Lisa Vecino Castro, the W Fort Lauderdale. Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you, Beatrice, for passing this on. Uh, thank you for spending some time with us this evening to be able to listen to what our hotels have to offer. I'm actually a mile uh, north of where Beatrice is located. And we are, our hotel in this area is right across the street from the beach, as you can see here on the photo. Um, what's nice about our hotel is that it runs east to west. So all of our rooms do have views of both the ocean and the city of Fort Lauderdale. As you can see here in this picture, you have the Atlantic Ocean um, on the east side and on the back side is where you would see the city of Fort Lauderdale along with the intercoastal. We do have two buildings um, on property. So the first building, which is what you see on the front side of the picture to the right, that's our uh, Tower One where all of our sleeping rooms and our suites are located along with our Tower Two, which is on the back side, which is where all our residential units are with all the comforts of home. Uh, they're basically apartments, great for extended stays or for families that need a little bit of uh, space. As you can see from the picture, all of the rooms uh, pretty much have uh, balconies. Um, they, uh, there's only a couple that don't have and that those are the ones that are basically on the lower floor, the wonderfuls, but anything from the spectacular on up uh, would have a balcony. Next slide, please. So we are also uh, located five miles from the Port of Everglades, so perfect for pre and post cruising, seven miles from the airport. Here you can see on this slide uh, some of the airlines that do come in, whether they're domestic or international, depending on what you're booking, along with some of the seasonal um, cruise lines that do actually sail out of Port Everglades. In our area, we do have uh, several shops and restaurants um, available for your guests within walking distance. We do have the water taxi, which has a stop right behind the hotel. So if they uh, wanna go head over to Las Olas, they can do that or they can take an Uber ride or, uh, away, which is about five minutes. Next slide. So here are some of our images that we have at the hotel. We have 430 uh, rooms and suites. On the top, starting from the left, is Steak 954, which is our uh, steakhouse. And of course, we're in Florida, so we have some great seafood available uh, for your guests. It's open for dinner only, but on Saturdays, we do offer Saturday and Sunday brunch menu options. The next picture to the right is uh, Steak 954, I'm sorry, is Elvis, which is our Mexican restaurant. You can have great guacamole as well as margaritas. That's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and that's our main dining. And then the last picture on the right, upper right, is our Sobe Vegan, where you can have some vegan options available for breakfast, lunch, and light bites in the afternoon. 
What's nice about the first two restaurants that I talked about, they are ocean front. So they're right at the front of the building. You can sit either indoor or outdoors and be able to uh, face, of course, the Atlantic Ocean. Uh, if you've never stayed at a W before, W does have their own lingo. So when you arrive at uh, Valley Parking, you're not arriving at Valley Parking, you're arriving at Wheels. When you come up to the lobby, which is the three images that you see in the middle, we refer to that as the living room. Uh, you can see the first two images you have the living room, the living room bar, and then we have an outdoor terrace so you can sit outside. Um, the living room is located on the fourth floor. And as you can see here, it faces the Atlantic Ocean. Um, and then we have a couple more images there of the exterior along with the pool side. Uh, next slide, please. We're also fortunate to have two pools. So we at the W refer to pools as wet. You have wet east and wet west. Wet East is on the front side of the building facing the Atlantic Ocean. It gives you that impression that you're actually on a cruise ship as you see straight out to the Atlantic Ocean, whereas Wet West is on the back side of the building facing our beautiful city of uh, Fort Lauderdale along and the intercoastal. So as you can see, we have water on either sides of the building. And then we have our boutique spa, which is the away spa where you get, can get the usual treatments of manicure, pedicure, massages, uh, we do have a glam station, so for you ladies that want to get all dolled up before you go out to your special event, please do uh, come to the spa and we do we'll do a, a blowouts of your hair, makeup, and get you all ready for that special occasion. We also have Fit, which is our fitness center, and that's located also on the fifth floor. And you can see here um, we have brand new equipment that was installed last year. Uh, along with the room being ocean view. So while you're doing your workout, you can actually see the Atlantic Ocean. Next slide, please. Then we have our sleeping room. So of course, in keeping with the W lingo, we don't have regular standard deluxe sleeping rooms. Our re room types, we refer to them as wonderful, spectacular, fabulous, fantastic ocean, uh, oasis, and so on. So our first three room types, is the wonderful, spectacular, and fabulous. As far as the inside of the room, it's all the same. What basically changes is the location as to where it's located in the building. So our wonderful, which is the entry level, is on the lower floor from the 10th floor down. The spectacular is from the 11th floor on up. And the fabulous are true ocean fronts at the front side of the building. If you need connecting rooms, either any of these three room types, we can have kings connecting to queen queens, but we do not have any king kings nor queen queens that actually connect. If you need a little bit more space, I would recommend doing the sensational studio or um, if you want a true one bedroom where you have the separation of the sleeping room and the living area, you should book a fantastic ocean front or an oasis ocean front. Um, we also have a couple of other room types that are interesting, which is the cool, cool corner, and that's right at the corner of the building. And it has a wraparound terrace, as you can see here on the lower left-hand side. Next slide, please. Then we have our residential unit. So this I definitely would recommend for somebody who uh, is either staying a little bit longer than normal or needs a little bit more space with their families. We have one bedroom and two bedroom residential units with all the comforts of home. You have a full kitchen uh, with a and also a washer and dryer. So you can do your laundry just before you um, go home. Then we have our presidential uh, units, which is our WOW and our EWOW. Um, those are located in the uh, tower one on the front side of the building. The terrace actually goes from one end of the building to the other. So you're facing directly out to that Atlantic Ocean. And uh, once again, giving you that impression that you are um, on a cruise ship. Both of these units are two bedrooms. Uh, so plenty of space um, available for your guests. Next slide, please. So at our hotel, we do charge a resort fee and it is $40. In the $40, you get included two chairs and an umbrella, which that alone, if you were to rent um, chairs and umbrellas on the Fort Lauderdale Beach, you would be paying more than $40. So as you can see here, you're definitely getting your uh, money back. We also uh, offer two uh, hours of uh, bicycle rentals for two daily, along with our fitness center, yoga and boot camp, and our high-speed internet. Uh, we just added uh, starting tomorrow where we're gonna be doing welcome drinks, and we're also doing uh, happy hour where you can do 50% uh, at 
certain times of the day. Uh, if you have valet parking uh, or if you have a car, you need valet parking, we have, it's $52. If you have a group, uh, more than 10 people or 10 rooms, uh, the portage would be $12 per person round trip. Next slide, please. And then lastly, we have our paw program, which is pets are welcome. So if you have a guest that's traveling with their pooch, we do have a one-time charge of $125. It does include the doggy bed, their bowls. They get a bark box that has treats and toys for your pet, along uh, with a curated doggy menu that you can get from room service for very interesting treats uh, and food available for these pooches. Uh, if you need anything, here's my contact information. I'll also drop it in the chat. Uh, and don't hesitate to reach out and let me know whatever your guest needs are. Thank you again for uh, your time this evening. And we do have um, Diana on. Um, Nora, would you be able to possibly unmute her, please? She joined us a little late, so I think her uh, mute button is inactivated. Nora? Hello? Hi, this is, is Diana. Can everyone hear me? Oh, yes. perfect. We can hear you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for that, Monica and Nora, for, for this. And thank you, everyone, for being here. Good afternoon. Good evening. My name is Diana, and I am here today here to talk about the Miami Marriott Biscayne Bay. Let's get started. So our hotel, um, for those of you that don't know, we are actually located in an area called Edgewater and preferably known as the downtown area of Miami. Now the hotel has something fantastic that we recently had a $65 million renovation. So we changed pretty much everything. We had some renovations of the sleeping rooms. We changed the beds, we changed, we upgraded from doubles to queens, we changed basically all of our bathrooms. So we had completely renovated everything, and especially the design. The hotel now uh, boasts about 605 remodel guest rooms and suites with vibrant oceanic designs. Also, we do have a, a market and an um, that actually offers uh, proudly brewed Starbucks and some special amenities like a grab and go that sometimes we all need. And those other additional items that we forget sometimes when we travel, we have that available right here at the hotel. Also, we did some re uh, renovations at our restaurant, the Gold Coast Kitchen and Cocktails, as well as our Miami's first M Club. Now you'll get to see some pictures later on but I do have to mention that our M Club is for our elite members, for our ambassadors, our, our platinums, our titaniums. They definitely get access to this. And if for any reason we do have a VIP, we're more than welcome to have them at the M Club. It would just be an additional cost to ensure that they can enjoy from the continental breakfast, the Wi-Fi, the hors d'oeuvres in the evening, as well as some beverages. Also, we do have uh, the kitchen and cocktails. We do have um, seasonal menus. So our menus would change. Now we do have um, some standard menus, but we do have also seasonal. Like for example, right now we are offering our delicious pokey tuna taco, which is amazing. I invite anyone that is in the area to come and try it. And again, our gold, uh, Coast Kitchen and Cocktails is also part of Miami Spice at the time. Next, please. So again, going back to the Gold Coast Kitchen and Cocktails, we actually, as you can see in the in the pictures, it's not only a restaurant. We've inco incorporated also what we call a bar. So we now have a full bar at the hotel. With this, we're sourcing the refreshment ingredients from local farmers and fishers. We deliver the best of the, of the restaurants in the place. Um, next, please. 
And now here, just going uh, more into our sleeping rooms, our 605 sleeping rooms were completely renovated. So we do have um, a total of sleeping rooms that are standard. And within all of our standard rooms, you will be able to enjoy balconies. Now, that's usually nothing, something that we don't uh, really have within the area, but we do have balconies and everyone is actually able to go out of the balcony and enjoy the views. For the hotel, we can gladly say that our 605 sleeping rooms, they all enjoy a beautiful view, whether it is a bay view or is a skyline view, you would always be able to get an actual view of the area of the hotel. Now, uh, we have 31 stories over uh, all of Miami, the waterfront, and we also have a total of 18,000 square feet of event space overlooking the city and the bay view area. Next, please. Again, like I mentioned before, we do have on the go. So on the top, we would be able to see our M club and then, and the, sorry, the top and the middle pictures are actually our M club. So this is actually the Miami's newest club delivers styles and ease for our on the go guests. So definitely, again, it it's actually for our ambassadors Platinum and Titanium Elite members, but we do have it available for other guests that would actually be able to just go in there, enjoy with the free Wi-Fi, the meals uh, for an additional cost. And then in the picture below, we can see the market that we do have. Uh, it offers obviously fresh foods on the go, like a grab and go uh, wrap or a sandwich that we sometimes need one of those beverages. Definitely we do have that available as well. And of course, some smoothies, um, acai bowls, and we will never forget, obviously, some stuff that we like last minute forget to buy, definitely we'll be able to find them as well here. Um, next, please. At the hotel, we are actually able to enjoy our renovated pool. So we do have a pool area available. And this pool is actually, as you can see in the picture, it has a wall which has been uh, one of our designers from Winwood Walls was actually uh, hired to do the design of the walls. Now, what we're trying to do is we're trying to incorporate uh, a little bit of Miami within the hotel so that everyone can enjoy a little bit of the Winwood Walls urban artist. Next, please. In regards to where we located, we are pretty much what we call the center of it all. So the hotel is located 7.5 miles from the Miami airport, two, uh, sorry, 25 miles from the Fort Lauderdale airport and 2.5 miles from the port of Miami. So in essence, you would actually be able to walk to the port of Miami uh, from the hotel, but how, who would like to start a vacation walking? And especially with the Miami weather, I don't think it's something that we wanna do. But just to give you an idea of the proximity, how close we are to the port, we are fairly close to them and we do work a lot and very well with the Port of Miami. Also, in regards to other locations that we do have within the area, we have the Bayside Marketplace that's only one mile away. We have the Adrian Arch Center. So for those of you that are interested, maybe in Broadway shows, obviously our battle, um, any type of shows within the um, Adrian Arch Center that's really right here, you'll be actually be able to see the center from uh, the sleeping rooms. The, we also have the Frost Museum, which is uh, located 0.8 miles, so not even a mile away from us. Wynwood, to enjoy the Wynwood walls, we know that that's huge now right now, especially Instagrammers, um, the influencers, they love to go ahead to the Wynwood Walls and take pictures. We are only two miles away from them. Brightline train, the Brightline, as we know, uh, it does has a stop in Miami. It has a stop in Aventura, uh, West Palm Beach, and it all it goes all the way up to Orlando. So we do have it really close by. It's one mile away from the hotel. So it be, it's a good uh, and easy access for transportation for our travelers and the Metro Mover, which actually be able to move around the area. So we have it right across the street from us. So right across the street, we have the uh, the Metro Mover station, which actually can take you to the Kaseya Center 
or it can take you to the Brickell area and it can take you all the way down to the Dayland area. So we do have uh, those um, factors that the hotel has that we're able to offer you with um, just a flexibility and a walking distance. Next, please. The hotel does offer parking. So we do have valet parking as well as self parking. And we also have obviously in case we do have those groups that wants to have um, like transportation and they're oversized, we can gladly accommodate that as well. And the hotel does offer a daily destination amenity. And this is only for $35. Our guests are actually able to enjoy a $35 credit to the room. So this is actually something that we can redeem in our uh, Gold Coast Kitchen and Cocktails restaurant. Or if you have a la carte, if you wanna order um, to your room, that would also be credited to that. It also includes two bike rentals and that's for two hours. So it'd be great to enjoy the Wynwood Walls or the Miami area. It does also include uh, Wi-Fi. Of course, this is something very important for all travelers to ensure that we do have Wi-Fi included. And when we're in Miami, sometimes we like to go out, but sometimes we would like to stay at the hotel. So at the hotel, you're actually able to enjoy one hour of our fabulous pool table and ping pong table for two guests. So you can enjoy while being here, refreshing at the hotel. Next, please. And then uh, that's pretty much for me. Uh, Lillian Lopez is actually the sales executive, the person that would be your main point of contact. At the time, Lily is not at the hotel, so I'll be more than happy to assist you, but you can go ahead and write to her and I'll get that information. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Diana. And um, again, I'm Beatrice from the Fort Lauderdale Harbor Beach. And we just wanted to uh, finish off with the uh, Brightline information. It's a form of transportation. Many of you probably have heard of it and those that have not heard of it. It's uh, very convenient. Uh, they have different type of connections. Uh, the two major stations will be Miami all the, and then Orlando. Uh, so they do have a total of six completed stations, as you can see here on the map. So it's an incredible, you know, experience, especially if you have those guests that want to mix destinations and stay like, for example, two nights or three nights in Miami and finish off in Orlando or finish off in Fort Lauderdale. These are the flag st uh, flagship stations, Miami, Orlando, and then the ones that are inland in line are Aventura, Fort Lauderdale, Boca, and West Palm Beach. And as you can see, they have, you know, different experiences, premium and smart. You could go online, take a look at it on brightline.com. They do offer, you know, food and drink service on all the stations. So it's uh, very convenient. And, um, the nice thing about it is that these uh, stations have the cruise ports uh, that are nearby. For example, the Port of Miami, the Fort Lauderdale uh, station, which is uh, just four miles from the Port of Everglades, and then the Port of Palm Beach, just five miles, and then the one in Orlando, about 47 miles to the Port of Canaveral. And that's a little bit about the Brightline station. And then this is our information. It gives you a little bit of a highlight of each property. And then our information at the bottom, email, website, and then uh, just a little brief, you know, location for each property. Um, so that will conclude for us. I uh, just want to say thank you very much for setting some time aside this evening and the opportunity to uh, talk a little bit more about our beautiful five different Marriott properties and cruise port destinations. Okay, ladies, thank you so much for that. Now I would like to open it up for anyone that has any questions while the experts with Marriott is on the line. So if you would, please drop your questions in the chat. So we can go ahead and ask them why they're still on. Okay, I'm sure someone have questions. We got a lot of thank you, thank yous. Mm -hmm. They said great information. 
So if you have any questions that you would like to ask any of the representatives, please put it in the chat for us. Okay, one question is, um, when it comes to amenity fees, are those automatically charged or do you have to opt in? That is a great question. Um, they are automatically included. Um, so unfortunately, you wouldn't have the option to opt in or opt out. Thank you. And actually, sometimes when you're booking, um, it may even show that the price does already include the amenity fee. It's um, pretty good at explaining that. Okay. Okay, do we have any more questions before we let them go? Okay, I don't see any more questions. So I would like to take the opportunity and thank Ms. Diana, Liza, Beatra, Christina, and Monica for taking the time out to be with us this evening. And we do greatly appreciate you coming on to talk to us about um, your resorts. And, and we had what, Tampa, Orlando, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami location, which was all beautiful and great locations. So on behalf of our One Star Platinum, Ms. Nina Jackson Mitchell, we would like to thank everyone for attending today. And uh, this webinar is officially over. So everyone have a wonderful evening and thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you, you, Nora. Thank you, Nina. You're welcome. Sure, thank yes, thank you, Nora. I'll be sure to send a follow-up um, with all of our information um, if you have yes. any questions um, and we will be able to um, assist you from there. Hey, thank you so much, okay? You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.